What's up and what's going on, Super Cichlid people? It's me, Mr. Super Cichlids, and I'm back with another Super Cichlids video. Today, I wanted to show you guys the updated aquascape of the tank and go a little bit more in depth with what I got here. Um, it's not too much, so it's only gonna be a short little video today, but gives you a little idea of what upgrades and changes have been made. Um, Obviously we got these two big pieces of driftwood here. I went ahead and attached Java Fern, the Java Fern I got to all over it. I think it looks really good like this. Um, and also kind of gives the tank a more open look. Along with that, I went ahead and pushed the gravel from the front to the back. So it kind of gives it a depth um, sort of look going into it. Um, then over here we got another piece of driftwood that I had laying around the house and I went ahead and attached Anubius to this one um, just because I wanted a little bit of a different look and a Java fern over here um, and then Anubius here. The discus are doing fantastic. They're loving it in here. The German blue, electric blue ram spawn. They started to eat it so there was no luck there. I tried to save the eggs and pull them, but it was a little too late and the water hardness was too hard. So they didn't get fertilized properly. Um, but I'm sure these guys will get spawning again as these discus are looking fabulous from Uncle Sam's discus. That was the unboxing I posted the other day. They've got some peppering around the outsides, which is actually really nice. I love that look. Uh, the Serpe Tetras are doing good. They're always chilling and kind of swimming around. Um, but other than that, there's not too much going on in this tank. The Corydoras are always doing great. They look fantastic. The Discus, get a better look at these guys. Um, and I am going to be growing these out so that I can get a pair out of them and then I will be spawning them down the road. Um, but I will get at least one pair, I believe, out of these four. If not, if I get really lucky, I'll get two. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I had a couple people um, ask me how I made these, um, and it was really easy. I just super glued them. I broke the pots in half and broke them with hammers in different ways to get different ones. I sawed this one in half by hand, which took forever. Wouldn't recommend it at all. It will work, but you're gonna be sawing for hours. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. We got some little growth here, some Nubius growing in, or these might actually be a different plant. I can't remember 100%. Yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications so you never miss a Super Cichlids video. And until next time, this is Mr. Super Cichlids, and I am signing off. Peace.